Hey tubers, so another compressor video. Um, some of you remember my Craftsman, or as I like to call it now, Crapsman uh, air compressor. Um, this thing is a gigantic piece of garbage. Um, I will never buy another Craftsman tool after buying this. Um, sorry Sears, but uh, your quality is way down. Um, anyway, they've repaired this several times and I'm sick of having them out here to repair it because uh, I have to take time out of work twice because they'll come out and tell me what they think is wrong with it and then try and replace it on the second try. Um, anyway, I came out here one day, tried to start it and uh, it wouldn't go. It was just making a humming noise. So looking at the compressor, um, you can see there's a like uh, corrosion streak here that uh, you know looks almost like uh, if your battery terminals on your car uh, you know were, were dirty so I found the start capacitor uh, was leaking severely um, so I suspect that that's my problem um, and it's real cold out up here and uh, so I bought a new one and I'm gonna show you how to uh, install it's pretty easy um, I like I said this is under warranty through Sears but I don't have the time to deal with it I'll just fix it myself so that it's done the right way um, I think this is the run capacitor and it is just fine at least from what I can tell so I'm gonna not touch that one at the moment um, I've had Sears replace the motor they've replaced the compressor they've replaced the pressure switch um, the only thing that is original on this compressor is the tank itself um, everything else has been replaced before um, so I'm a little frustrated with this compressor so hopefully this fixes it. I'll show you how to do it in case you run across the same issue. Um, I've got the parts down on my bench because it's cold out here. So we'll go put those together and then I'll put it on and hopefully uh, hopefully it works. Alright, so this is the old capacitor out of my Craftsman air compressor. Um, it was leaking and I took it apart because I thought this was just a, you know, like a sleeve and it was sitting inside of it. But it's actually the capacitors inside. Uh, well, this is the capacitor. Um, you can see on the new one how how it looks, and th that's kind of what it looked like on the old one. Um, so the old part number you can see there on the screen. Um, it's a 161 to 193 microfarad, 250 volt AC capacitor. It's a start capacitor or motor start capacitor. Um, this is the new one made by Dayton. You can probably get the same junky one from uh, Craftsman if you go looking. Um, actually, I'm take that back. You can get it, and I did go looking from to get it from Sears. They wanted $143 for it. I bought this Dayton one through Zorro Tools. Um, it's the same specs, uh, except it's a little bit shorter, but it should fit no problem. And uh, I'm going to pop that in. First, we've got to put this uh, 4.7 k ohm uh, resistor between the two posts, there's no polarity to this, it's an AC capacitor. Um, you take your capacitor tester and verify that the capacitor is good. So this is my capacitor tester, it's an MFD-10. Um, you want it on the 10 to 10,000 range because this is a 161 to 193 microfarad capacitor. Um, any lower than you'd switch it to the 0.01 to 10 range. And let me get it set up here and I'll show you how to test it. All right, so I've got it connect the leads connected to the capacitor. Um, there's no polarity to this capacitor because it's an AC capacitor, from what I understand. Um, so you can press your test button, and it'll tell you it reads about 185, 186 microfarads. So it's right within spec. Um, this one actually did read correctly, but it was leaking heavily, so I assume that was part of the problem. Um, when you do test it, you cannot have your resistor across it. Um, so I've got to solder that back on and put this back on to the air compressor and hopefully that will solve my issue. Alright guys, so you can see I got my new capacitor installed. Uh, I've got to put the cover back on it and then we're going to give it a test run and see what happens. Um, pretty easy to install. Capacitor sits up there like this. Um, I leave one screw in so I can put the tab of the cover underneath and then put the other screw in and then snug it all down. And um, you know, definitely when you're working on your compressor, make sure you unplug it from the wall. Um, and uh, hopefully this fixes my problems for the moment. Alright guys, uh, let's see what she does. Ah, here we go. Yeah, baby. 
So tubers, that is how you fix your Craftsman air compressor uh, with a bad capacitor or bad start capacitor. Uh, pretty simple fix, $20 repair. Um, again, my compressor was under warranty, but every time Sears comes out, it's a two-day trip out of work. 